Hey everybody, so I'm going to start answering questions that are put to me on YouTube in uh, in the car here and uh, I figure it's a convenient place. I'm using my Pixel phone and uh, so you let me know what you think of the video quality and the sound quality. I have an external mic, I can always hook it up if need be. Let me know. My voice is still very weak. I have a history of uh, a weak, very weak um, uh, a voice. Laryngitis is uh, something that's plagued me. Uh, this may sound crazy to you, but I've actually lost my voice for nine months once. Nine months. It was uh, as bad. So I'm in my second month of very weak voice now. We're going into my second month. <sighs> it's troublesome, but it will eventually go away when I drink a lot of water. Anyway, I'm going to answer a couple questions off the top of my head. Uh, number one, somebody said, uh, how do I retain all this information? They're learning web development. How is, what's the best way to retain this stuff? Two things you got to do. Uh, number one, you got to just write code. You just got to write code and don't be afraid to uh, Google up syntax, actual little code bits. Um, if you're using a good IDE, an integrated development environment, and that's just an app that helps you to code, it will code hint for you. Understand even the most experienced programmers will forget the specific syntax, the specific code from time to time, especially if you haven't used an aspect of a language for a while. So let's say you haven't done, I don't know, file manipulation in Python in, in a while. You may forget the exact syntax, the exact code to write it. No big deal. You just go to Google and you type in Python file opening or file manipulation you get the code right there and you go up oh, and that's it and you just that's, that's all you have to do really uh, so don't worry about forgetting individual uh, little code snippets and the specifics the most important thing when you're learning how to code is understanding the concepts and understanding the big picture and how to put everything together nicely um, but you still have to know some basics, like variable declaration, declaration, uh, object declaration, so forth. This will come with just practice. Just write code, write code, write code. Another thing you can do, as I suggest in my courses all the time, is take notes. Handwritten notes are very important because when the body feels the pen in the hand, you're activating the tactile, the feeling uh, of the pen in the hand. And... I've mentioned this in other videos, I have a background in psychology, the more sensory inputs you can trigger during an event, the more likely and more easily your brain is going to remember that. So uh, sensory input, we take in information around the world in our lives through our eyes, sense of sight, smell, taste, touch, hearing. So the more you can activate when you're learning something, uh, the... Um, more likely you're going to remember. Now everybody's different. You may be somebody who can remember a touch more easily. Some people may hear better than they see in terms of comprehension. It's, it's Everybody's got their learning style. So for you, one of the things I would suggest is when you're learning like a key thing, like let's say object uh, class creation in um, whatever language you're learning, write it down on paper. Keep notes, a nice notebook, write it down, you know, date it, March, you know, about, you know, what are, what are we are now, March 30th, how to create an object, and you just write the code out, right, you know, and not that you're going to necessarily refer to these notes, but what you find is that it's going to really help you to remember things more easily, but at the end of the day, you got to write more code, you can't uh, be too concerned about forgetting specifics because even the most experienced programmers will forget specifics. You can always just Google it up in a second. And learning to use Google to do that is a big part of the skill set. So uh, there are my tips. Next question. Somebody said they were doing uh, courses and uh, they were in, in this uh, program they were suggested that they should learn Ruby on Rails. Should you do it? Well, you can watch my videos on should you learn Ruby, should you learn Python, should you learn PHP, and you can get into the specifics. Uh, I'll just so I won't go over it here because you can just check out those videos um, in the uh, in the playlist in one of my playlists. That or you can just search for it. Um, the most important thing to consider is uh, the type of work and the type of programming you want to do. So. 
Ruby, in my opinion, Ruby and Rails, uh, though they're great technologies, they're falling more and more into niche. And as a result, you got to look at what Ruby and Ruby on Rails is used for these days. These days, it's typically meaning you're going to go work for a startup, that type of business. Um, but so that might be what you want to do. On the other hand, you may find that uh, learning JavaScript and Node might be a better choice these days, depending. Or you, if you want to do freelance, the king of freelance, of course, is PHP, no question. And et cetera, et cetera. And this is not a statement. When we say it again, I'm not saying that. PHP is, is a better language than Ruby or Python is a better language than PHP or vice versa or whatever. I'm not talking about that because all these languages, whether it be Python, Ruby, PHP, JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, and a whole bunch of others, they're all neck and neck in terms of your capabilities and they can all produce good apps. What it really comes down to is what you want to do and the type of work you want to do and the type of place you want to work in. Anyway, that's it for today's uh, vlog. Let me know what you think. If the sound is cool, if the video is cool, I'm trying to decide if I should get like a, a, a dedicated little mini camera because I want to bring my DLSR, my big camera, into my car. And I think I'm going to just do my mail bag on this uh, on the way back from my coffee and my morning bagel run. And that'd be kind of cool. All right. Let me know.